Now I'm going to attempt one of the hardest games I've ever made to 100%, Super Meat Boy. This will be the hardest challenge yet for my channel. The game starts off simple like this, but will end up like this. Now this game is rated a 10 out of 10 in difficulty with a time of 100 hours. But I thought to myself, is it really that hard? The challenge starts here in phase 1 where I'm going to be focused on just beating the game. Now for us to beat the game I need to get an A plus on every level. The way you get an A plus is by beating the level in a certain amount of time. I need to do this for every level to get an achievement, but you thought it was that easy? <laughs> Not even close. With every A plus I earn, I unlock a dark version of the level. Now dark versions of the levels are the same levels, but just way harder, adding it. more obstacles. It looks like this in the light version and this in the dark version. So my main focus was to beat the light ward first, then the dark ward. And here's me going through levels left and right thinking this game wasn't even that hard. Ooh, now bandages are just collectibles you could get throughout the game. I would need to collect a hundred of them for an achievement and collecting a certain amount of bandages unlocked other characters. And with each character they have an ability to help out with the game but I'll go into more detail with that later. Now this is an example oh. of a retro zone. It's these levels that give you 3 lives per zone and as well 3 levels within a zone. Now these zones help unlock characters. Now you need to beat 5 of them for an achievement. Oh my god. After beating 5 zones I came across another zone. Now this zone was to unlock com the commander. And once unlocked the achievement will pop up. The commander unlock. Soon later, I got my 10th bandage for the achievement, and the name of it really threw me off. Thank you. Oh, I have crabs? What the fuck? After that, I came across the hardest challenge yet. I mean, just look at this. How am I supposed to beat this? Now, this level is for the character called Kid. Now, Kid's special ability is to double jump. But to unlock them is no easy task. This is the first level out of three. Now for the third level, it took me a while to get through it. And a couple death slams later, I did it. And I oh my god. Oh my god. With the kid unlocked, I was able to fly through the game. Which brought me to the final level to beat the game. Nailed it. The end. Beat the light ward. With that done, my next task was to beat the dark ward and collect everything on the way. So 100% the game pretty much. Now cleaning up the game will give me a lot of achievements. To name a few, I'm a golden god, which is to 100% the game. The real end for completing the dark ward. And as well, retro rampage for completing all warp zones and as well all the character unlocks achievements. My first one I got was for collecting 30 bandages. Come on. Metalhead. Unlock the machinery robot 30 bandages. Then I came across this Batman wannabe for another achievement. I don't know. And it's that easy. Unlock Jill. AKA Batman. I ended up completing my 10th warp zone and as well getting my 50th bandage. Old school, complete 10 retro warp zones. Nice. Ooh, I smell something this 50. Unlock ninja, 50 bandages. Then I found my first glitch in the game. Now these are completely random, so I was happy I found my first one so well. Oh. A dot. Whatever that is, I guess. I don't know what that is. Okay, you get the point. So let's just have all the non-important achievements pop up on screen like this. Oh, Agmo. The jump man. Unlock Agmo. Yeah. Oh, the fly guy. Unlock fly wrench. Oh my god. PX6. 90 bandages. 
I ended up getting Retro Rampages for completing all Warp Zones, and right after that, I beat the Dark Warp. Retro Rampage and Minecraft Steve. Nice. Oh, I did it. Oh my god. That took way too long. After collecting everything and beating the Dark Ward, I started on beating every ward without dying. Now, hold your gasps. Because it's about to get serious. So I started with the Forest, aka Ward 1, and to be honest, I beat it on my second try. It wasn't that hard, but I guess beating the game really prepared me for Ward 1. I can try, I think, for the Forest. It is the easiest ward, to be fair, but it should pop. Yeah, it would work. Complete the Forest without dying. What is that? 13 more, and I got Ward 1, Dark Ward. The amount of times I've died because of how panicked I was, Not messing but up in again. the end, a couple hours later, I beat Dark Ward 1 without dying, and the amount of joy went through my body was amazing. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That took me so, so long. Before heading to do the no death, no death run on World 2, I decided to get some secret achievements, like, well, look at you. The way you get it is by typing in the secret code on the character select screen, and this will pop up. Push the buttons. Oh, there we go. Tofu boy. And then I beat World 2 without dying, but forgot to record. You think an achievement as important as this one, I wouldn't forget to record. Oh, oh. my god. You're wrong. Fuck up now. <laughs> While going out to War 3 to get Missile Boy, okay, okay, okay. let me just say, I really despise missiles. With a passion. There's been so many times I was like three away and I got hit by a missile and I had to restart all the levels all over again but after feeling pain for hours and hours and death after death i finally got it give me that only took about three hours <laughs> okay dark ward after finally beat mission boy i went out to collect dark ward version of missile boy as well but to be honest I somehow found the Dark Ward version to be easier than the Light Ward version. I don't know if it's just because I played all the levels like a hundred times. But, yeah, it was easier. Now, the next No Death Runs was supposed to be a lot harder, but compared to Missile Boy, this was Pretty much nothing. Now don't get me wrong, these were still very difficult, but with that I got Brimstone Boy, boy and Ezreal Demon Boy. Oh my god. <sighs> but on to Maggot Boy and Zombie Boy. Now let's just say I really hate zombies. I mean, sometimes they jump, other times they don't. I don't understand it, I tried working around it, I mean... It was all random. I think I spent four and a half hours getting Zombie Boy. And let me tell you, I was kind of getting sick of this game. But there was only a couple achievements left, so I had to power through it. So I just kept playing and I ended up getting both of those, those achievements. That just leaves me with a couple more achievements left. These are beat the final chapter without dying on light and dark ward. For these achievements and as well as beat Cotton Alley on light ward and dark ward. It. So I started with the end and let's just say it wasn't that hard. It could just be because there was only five levels in it. But to be honest, I flew through the end on light and dark ward. So after that, I wanted to say Cotton Alley for last because it was the hardest. And let's just say it didn't disappoint. I first had to beat the ward because I saved it for last and I hadn't done it yet. Which gave me I am a golden god, which is 200% the game. After doing all that, there's only two achievements left for me to get. These are the no death runs for Cotton Alley 
and oh boy i was excited because this is the hardest part now on to the no death ones for cotton alley there are 12 levels i wanted to get out the way because i mean just look at the levels so my first idea was to beat those levels and it would make the run a little easier because normally i would i would go from 1 to 20. i didn't realize i could just pick and choose the levels randomly i didn't have to go in order but yeah i wish i knew that i but after hours upon hours i finally beat the light ward without dying but for the dark ward not gonna lie i was on it for days i would play for hours just hoping i would beat it but then the impossible happened i beat the dark ward on cotton alley and with that i have 100 percented Super Meat Boy. Now, Super Meat Boy was an amazing game. Do I recommend it? Uh, to play casually, I would say yes. It's a fun and amazing game. It was a great to have a challenge and to feel pushed to do it. Do I re recommend this game to 100%? No. God, no. I had so much rage and anger in this game. It was fun to play, but not fun to go for all the achievements in. So on the game scale, I give it a 6.8. The game is simple, but still fun. So I feel a 6.8 is a good score. Now on the 100% scale, I would say a 10 out of 10. Like I said, this was awful. I mean, you saw the no death runs, nothing fun about it. Just because like the no death runs, like I, I enjoyed getting all the achievements, but the no death runs in this game really, made me hate this game it would take me weeks to beat them all but i still had fun to do it anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time peace